there's been an update to the VS Village mod. And, uh, I have questions. I am not in my regular world. I'm glad I didn't go there because I have questions. Um, got a lot of villagers here. But they're all missing in action. Okay. Um, before there used to be information under each villager, uh, where they slept, where they worked, where we could, you know, find them. Last location. Um, all the structures are here. And of course the stats, they're here. And I did find out what Destroy the Village does. It just basically uh, wipes away the name and the, uh, the radius. The residents <laughs> and the structures. So basically you start over. Um, all right, it tells us here all the tables and who is, uh, who's at that table. Um, it also lists all the beds. Okay. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, four smiths. Okay. I don't think I expanded this village like that. Um, issue is here. A lot of soldiers. Holy moly. Are we, uh, okay, some of these are getting marked twice. I'm not sure why. Um, issue is beds. Okay, 94, 61, 46. Okay, that means that there are beds underground. And I'm going to show you how I know that. There is this cool little highlight that has been implemented into this mod. And if you go to the, um, the Vintage Story mod page under VS Village, Change Log, hit Show, and it will show you details about this, this new update. Um, one of these I'm going to show you right now is the Highlights. Highlights all points of interest. And it's the slash HVP, Enter, and we get all these cool little rainbows. This tells us where beds are. It tells us where workstations are. And it tells us where the gathering places are. Basically the braziers. It also is going to tell us something else that I have learned recently on my own without the help of this highlighting aspect and I have been playing with it in a couple of other um, villages before I came to a conclusion. There are beds underground and unfortunately they are claimed by the villages and they are claimed by villagers. So, a number of the villagers are underground. And there's no safe way to get them out. And they are obviously in danger. Um, now, I, I learned this the sad way in another village. Um, I tracked these yellow lines going underground and I found dead villagers because they'd gotten attacked by the monsters. Um, okay, so I, I find this to be an issue. And of course, I'm not going to implement this in my, in my current game. As soon as I'm done doing this video, I'm going to go and remove this so that my villagers do not end up underground Again, I just got them all. Well, I got some of them. Um, back where they should be. And I'll tell you, that was quite the adventure. And that's a spoiler alert. Because that video's not out yet. But yeah, we've got people here who should be up here in the village enjoying their lives. But they're not. Because they had the misfortune of choosing a bed that was underground. Anyway, um... Yeah, that, that needs to be fixed, I think. 
the other thing is now that I got the rainbow on how do I shut it off good question huh um, let's see there's a couple other things on here that I still have to play with to understand um, highlight the path as a villager would take it um, highlight the path along path blocks um, and one that I did play with that I really really like is the generating the villages I like that idea so I can make a village wherever I want it so but I'm definitely not gonna play with any of these until um, there is some limit set on the depth of the objects that this that these villages claim so, because I can already see some of our villages are underground. So, I think um, that's about the extent of my reaction to this so far. Until I learn more, but um, I think those points are of interest and should be addressed. Because um, unless I'm doing something wrong, something's not right. I also do like that the... Uh, the perimeter is going to make it so much easier to fence in some of these villages, which I'm 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 taking that to be a routine thing now is fencing them in. It just it's going to save me a lot of grief and the villagers a lot of grief because the bears and the wolves and you know whatever else um, won't cross that if we can make it high enough. Anyway, that's the extent of my uh, my observation. So, powers that be. I hope you're listening. We'll be back. <laughs>